Welcome to the, today's live session. I am excited about this topic. I'm, I hope you guys are too, because um, the thing is, once you know more information, then you'll be able to um, do the things to protect yourself. I am Ronica Brown, and I help business owners to save a lot of money on their taxes. And one of the things is that I also do on one of the processes I also help them in, to implement is to also have proper documentation. And I stress the word proper documentation so that I don't only help them to keep their deductions. Um, sorry, I don't only help them to save money, but I also help them to keep their deductions in the event um, if their return get adjusted or examined or anything that happened um, like that. And as I had mentioned before, you know, there's not a CPA, a tax attorney, or anyone in this world that can help you or prevent you from getting an audit. And I also share that an audit is just a simple examination to say, you know, let's check to see if everything that you have on your tax return, if those are true business expenses. So that's the first step. So that's what it opens the door for. And then the next step is for you to basically provide the evidence to prove that everything that you have reported um, is indeed true and correct. Um, so this is not a job for your bookkeeper. Um, this is not a um, job for anyone else but you because you are the one that basically need to prove whatever is on your return regardless if you paid someone to prepare your return or not. So um, it's important that you know exactly what documentation um, that you need to have in place and what process that you need to um, have in place. So I'm going to talk a little bit about today about staying away from the IRS jail. <sighs> No one wants to go to jail. No one wants the IRS to mess with them. Um, so what are some of the red flags that are included in your tax return? And I have a few listed here. Like the home office, um, business losses, charitable contributions, um, large increases in revenue. Um, if your business all of a sudden start making a lot of money. And also, you know, car use or people who, you know, like to say that their business basically owns their car and things like that. So this is just a short list. And the reason why these are basically high risk, um, the simple fact is that, that most time people just don't know what documents to keep. Um, what, what are the proper do documentation to keep in order to prove business purpose for these items. So it's not that, you know, if you claim these items, you know, it's going to automatically cause an audit or anything like that. That's just not the case. Um, why they're considered high risk is because once a lot of times, once these items are examined, um, pretty much 80% of the time there's going to be an adjustment to it because people really don't know what to keep um, when it comes to their, don't, um, their deductions. Take, for example, people who donate physical items um, to Goodwill. Goodwill, thanks for joining. People who donate physical items to Goodwill. Um, a lot of people don't even register their Goodwill receipt to uh, when you donate your goodwill items there's a reading on the receipt that say hey thank you for your donation you should go ahead and register go on our website and register the items you donated and you will receive your tax receipt um, just some simple process like that a lot of people don't even know that they should register these donation so this and more um, that I will be able to share with you and this is um, important. Um, hi, Brandy. Thanks for joining. That you know you're able to get a deduction for these items, as well as you're able to um, keep this deduction two, three years down the road if your return get pulled for an audit. Hi, Luna. Um, and also, so what I have um, to share this information with you is that I have a free um, IRS audit guide that shows you exactly what information you need to do for all the IRS um, high risk items. Also, outlines a simple process on how you get started. I always say that for new business owner, it's a perfect time because you're basically starting on a new slate and you'll be able to 
basically be years ahead of um, other business owners because you know exactly what to do going forward. And for people who are existing in business, then you can start with 2018. Don't stress about going back um, too far. You can just start this year, this month, and start implementing those simple processes. And once you do it one time, then it just becomes a little routine. Um, if you have to get your admin involved, then there's also processes included where your admin should be able, able to help. Um, so one of the big reasons why I um, decided to get this guide done, you know, is because I'm just tired of seeing business owners um, getting, you know, adjustments or just paying more just because they just don't know or, you know, normally when I onboard a new client and so forth, you know, they just never had um, certain documentation in place and basically putting the, themselves at risk because when it comes to taxes and audit, uh, hi, Pierre. How are you? Thanks for joining. Um, when it comes to taxes and audit, then, you know, Audit is one of the biggest risks that you will, you'll face, you know, overpaying on taxes and your return being adjusted due to an IRS audit. So basically this guide will cover that. So leave me a comment um, below and graphic designer is putting some final touches on it. So it will be, be, be available soon and I will send you a message with this free information on how you can protect stay away from IRS jail and how to basically get your documentation in place for all of these red flags. If you have any specific questions on anything that I talked about today or anything related to, you know, being, you know, your return being audited, your return being examined, if you've ever been audited before, if your return has been adjusted before, just, you know, leave me a comment, send me a message, let me know. I'd love to hear about your experience and hopefully you did not get a big adjustment on your return. So as I said, um, go ahead and comment below this video or send me a message and we'll be able to send that guide to you. Um, uh, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining and I look forward to sharing this information with you. Thank you.